Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of how to elevate your portraits and content as a photographer. Y'all, 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 we have reached the final episode. This is so insane to me right now. This has been an eight part series where we have talked about so many different topics as it relates to photography, portraits, content overall. We've talked about how to create cinematic portraits. We've done so many different editing tutorials. We've hopped into Adobe Express, done some video content. I am so just happy with how this series has come together and really grateful to y'all for staying with me throughout this entire process. I just want to start this video by saying a quick thank you to everyone that has watched and I hope that y'all enjoyed this entire series thus far. If you missed any portion of it, please do go back and watch it. And while you're going back to watch it, go ahead and subscribe to the Adobe Live YouTube channel as well. So for our final, final episode, we are going to continue the conversation about how to elevate your content with Adobe Express, right? So we have talked about creating mood boards in Adobe Express. Last episode, we talked about how to create your BTS videos in Adobe Express. And for this final episode, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to create creative covers for your Instagram reels, your TikTok videos in Adobe Express. So really excited for today's video. I think that it's really important when you're creating any kind of video content for social media to have a cover that's engaging, have a cover that's exciting, that kind of gets people, especially when they go onto your page, right? When they go onto your page and they're scrolling, something that's gonna catch their attention. So for today's episode, we're going to hop into Adobe Express and we're gonna talk about how to create a number of different covers that can be utilized for Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube, etc. I'm really excited for this. I'm probably gonna use, not even probably, I will use portraits that I have taken and I'm also going to probably use some images of myself. So let's go ahead and hop into Adobe Express and create those covers. Awesome, so we are back in Adobe Express and we're gonna create some covers. Again, you see that you have the option for all of these different templates. I'm going to create my own. Um, I'm going to create my own with the size, I believe for Instagram reels, it's, is it what, 1080 by 1920 pixels. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the image I want to use. This is the image that we had done for my color play episode a couple episodes ago. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some ideas. I don't really have much of a thought of what I want this to look like. Um, so I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go, but I'm going to actually, I think I want this to be all one color and I want it to kind of, I want to have him in the middle kind of small. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color and I'm going to take, use the picker to kind of get the same color from the background of the image. See, that's what y'all see me doing there. So now it kind of looks like he's smaller. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some text. I kind of, the idea that I have is to have color play as the text and have it really bold. Um, so I'm going to type out color play and then I'm going to go ahead and change the color probably to white because black is not going to work for this specific image. I want it to pop. So white is going to work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the font a bit bigger. I want this to take up pretty much a lot of the space. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll. You'll see you have the option to either add your own fonts to your library or just kind of explore the font options that you have in Adobe Express. Um, I really want it to be a bold font. So I'm going to go ahead and click on some different options that give me that vibe. I think, ooh, I like this one. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to go ahead and size it down a little bit. And I'm thinking that I want color play to be like repetitive throughout this poster. Um, and so I kind of want it to, so like color play, color play, color play, um, and maybe even have him be in front of the words. Um, so let's figure that out. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to duplicate this text and have it placed, um, and just kind of see what that looks like. So just right click duplicate, and I'm just going to go ahead and follow the margins that they give me to make sure that it's all aligned properly. I want it to look nice. I'm just going to keep duplicating this color play. And I think what I may do is have it repeat from like the top of the poster all the way down. And I keep calling this a poster, but this is just the cover of what would go on Instagram ideally. And this is really cool because you just get the option to um, be creative and, and just 
play around with some ideas. I'm gonna show y'all two different examples. So this is one that I'm just making from scratch. And then I'll show y'all an example of how you can utilize a template and play around with that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the remove background and I'm gonna move that image to the front, to the top of all of these pages or all of these elements, excuse me. And that way it, he's kind of in front and the words are behind him. I really like the way that that looks. It just kind of creates a cool background, I think, to his position. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and place him where I think is best. I really like that placement. And then I'm gonna copy and continue to duplicating that color play all the way throughout the again from the top to the bottom of this cover so i'm just duplicating right click duplicate right click duplicate and just positioning it where i want it Oh, this looks so cool. I like this way that this looks. I think the other thing that I may do is change the colors. Um, so I may play around with the colors there. I don't have any specific colors in here, um, but ooh, I like that. So I use the color picker just to take that green from his suit. I think that's really nice to try to incorporate into the text. So I'm gonna to try to do that again. And what actually might be smarter for me to do, um, just to make sure that the color is consistent throughout all of this text, is just to pick which shade I like the most and then take that, like the color number and copy it throughout. So I'm gonna to go to the top. I like this shade of this kind of green, kind of, I don't know, what would you call this color? It's a green, it's fine and make sure that it is the same throughout. And I'm just gonna copy over the color for this um, specific, the scooby, I'm just gonna copy over the number for this specific color. And I like the idea of it just kind of going green, white, green, white, green, white. Yeah, that looks really nice. I may be doing too much, y'all, let me know. I'm just playing around and doing what I like. And I thought maybe we can try to see what the black looks like because there is black in his suit. Um, but I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's just kind of now like too much going on. It's like too much for my eyes. It already is a lot going on. <laughs> but I think that black just is a little bit too much. So I may not keep it. Um, and then I also have the option because I have created a separate background and I have removed the background from the original image, I could play around and change the color but I can play around and change the color of the background, which I think is really cool, but I'm gonna keep the color the same to what I had it previously. Um, I think that it just looks nicer that way. But yeah, you could just kind of play around the colors and see what you are like navigating towards. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick to the original. <laughs> And then I think I'm gonna change that font, um, the color that I put in black, I'm gonna change it back to white. Uh, and also, I, I don't wanna resize him. I like the sizing of him. I don't wanna make him too big because that's just massive. I like the proportions of his body here. And then I think the last thing that I will do for this poster is just change the color text from black to white because I think that just sat a bit better on the poster. So I'm just changing the colors from that black to white and I think I'm happy with what this looks like I don't know y'all let me know it was an idea <laughs> but I just like the freedom that you have I think that utilizing that um remove background was really cool to kind of separate him from the background and kind of play around with his sizing on the poster as well so I want to show you a second example and in this specific example I want to utilize a template because there are so many different template options that you guys have within Adobe Express. So if you don't have a creative idea for this poster, just go ahead and use a template. It's an easy way to kind of get a good starting point and then you can make adjustments from there.
So I'm just exploring the different templates. This is actually, it has some moving elements, which obviously because this is going to be a cover for a reel, there is not going to be anything moving, no animations. It's just going to be the text and the images. So I want to be mindful of what I'm choosing. But again, just scroll through and look at the different options that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize this one that I found at the very top. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same image and just create two different covers and just we can pick which one we think is best. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace, first of all, I'm going to ungroup this because it is grouped together. And I'm going to replace the image that is on this original poster. I think that um, I'm going to go ahead and add in my photo and then I'll do the same um remove background and kind of go from there i do want to keep the color background the same as what's in the original photo so i am going to use the picker tool to pick up that color so that way it's there for me and then i can go ahead and click on my photo and i can remove the background and play around with the positioning of my subject on this poster like i was doing previously so i have placed him where i want him and i'm going to go ahead and just change the text um, again this is going to be a cover photo for a reel that is talking about this specific episode on color play i believe it was episode four so i'm going to put in here color play i think i'm going to write photoshop tutorial and then i'm just going to size it down to a size that i feel like is appropriate and sits well on this poster so i'm going to size that down because that text was a little bit too big and i like the way that that is looking so far and then I think I'm going to go ahead and move my subject to the top so his body is over the text. I like that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just change all these different elements that again, the great thing about a template is that it's just a proper starting point. So if I knew I liked it, I can just change, you know, add my name add, and just change all the text elements on here. If I wanted to change the font or different aspects of it, I could do that. But this is more so an example of someone that doesn't want to do too much and just wants to use a template that is available to them. You can utilize the, the template and then just make the necessary adjustments so that way it's relevant to the content that you are creating. I'm going to adjust this number two. This was episode four. So I'm going to go ahead and add a four on there. And then I think at the bottom, I'm going to write episode four as well. I like it placed to the side almost. I'm, I'm going to play around with the placement of everything because I, I do want it to feel balanced. I don't want it to feel out of order. So I like that placement. And then I'm going to add episode four to this bottom text as well. There we go. Yeah. And I believe, I think that's it. I like this final poster. So this is where it's at. And I'll show y'all the, um, the comparison between the two posters. And you can let me know down in the comments which poster you prefer. So I hope that y'all enjoyed today's episode of how to create creative covers in Adobe Express. And again, thank y'all so much for joining me throughout this entire series. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Adobe Live YouTube channel. You can also head over to my social media at oh yeah, it's ID and follow me there. And I will catch y'all next time somewhere on this beautiful internet. Until then, bye. <laughs>